Hey, welcome back everyone, Toys just here, and I'm back yet again with yet another DC Multiverse video, and today we're going to be checking out the brand new McFarlane Toys 2-pack, which I definitely had some thoughts on when they first announced it, but this is the Superman vs. Doomsday 2-pack, which is a gold label Target store exclusive, mine came in from Target, pre-ordered it, it's Superman and Doomsday. Right? Superman versus Doomsday is all over the box. Well, on the back side of the box, eh, it gets a little confusing, right? Death of Superman, also modern Death of Superman, just Doomsday in general. This does not exist in the box, unfortunately. The very iconic cape with the S, and uh, in actuality, this does not appear in the box either. And even this artwork, which it's kind of based on, has the S on the cape, right? Here's the barcode if you want to go ahead and grab it. They're starting to hit store shelves. And if you'd like, somewhere on the screen, you might be able to pre-order it if it's your thing. Now I'm just going to tell you right off the bat. I'm not going to spend this entire video just upset, complaining. I don't want to do that. I want to look at this as if it's just a figure and I have no feelings towards it. So we're going to get that right out of the way. But first, I figured we would just uh, lightly talk about it, right? Of course. Now, let me point out the fact that the Superman vs. Doomsday pack is $60. And for me, as a collector, especially in this day and age, attention to detail is key. There are so many companies making so many things that at this point, you really have to be spot on. And if you look at NECA Toys with any of their cartoon, movie, mirage, video game, or otherwise turtles, I never have to say, oh man, I wish they would have done that. Oh, this wasn't included. They are always spot on because they know the subject material. And that's what I want to see as a collector in this day and age. Now, of course, you can look at this two-pack and go, yeah, it's totally fine. And that's okay because, yeah, it is every bit Superman versus Doomsday, but as a collector, this is a pack I would never recommend unless you're really adamant and you want it on clearance or something because this is not the iconic Superman versus Doomsday, Death of Superman, none of it. It's a hodgepodge of ideas and does it achieve it? Not at all. But in the meantime, we're going to take a look at it anyway. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Target Store Gold Label exclusive Superman vs. Doomsday. And while I got all you children of the 90s here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Now, first and foremost, not a whole lot in the box, right? You do get a pair of hands. They are outstretched flying hands, flesh tone, no paint. It has a nice design to them, but there's no fists in the box to pummel, said Doomsday, right? Now, we do get this Superman, which the body type we've seen a dozen times, as I'll say over and over, it's just... It's not a good Superman body type. It's all kinds of wonky. There's lines all over it. It just doesn't fit with the representation of Superman in the death of Superman. They have painted the shoes, the boots, to have, I'm going to guess, some dirtiness to it, like he's been in rubble. But to be honest with you, it kind of looks like it's blood in his shoes. Like he's... Romeo and Michelle High School Reunion, right? That classic quote. That's just what it looks like. He looks like he's got bloody feet, right? Because there's none of that anywhere else on this figure, not even on the cape. Now, one thing I do like, I like the tatteredness of the cape. That's a good tattered cape. Farland always does such stellar capes. But then there's no dirtiness to it. There's really not much to it. It's just, here's the cape. Also, the iconic S symbol is not on the cape. And that, for the death of Superman... It kind of goes hand in hand, right? So right off the bat, no, this is not a Death of Superman box set in any way, shape, or form. He does have the spit curl. It's very much Jim Lee face. If you wanted to go that route, hush Superman in many ways. He has some blood here and there. That's cool. I'm glad they put that in there, but it's not anywhere else. It's just kind of there, right? Don't even get me started on the droopy S. That's what I mean. I, again, I don't want to just... The whole video, oh, yeah, there's what's wrong with it. 
But these are glaring problems with this. It's just a box set that was thrown together, unfortunately. Now, the Drew PS aside, as you can see, <laughs> makes no sense. But hey, at least the symbol this time is the right size, right? And from far away, you go, hey, uh, you got the blues and reds. That's a Superman? That's fine. But it's not until you really get up close where you say, yeah, well, it's it's a reuse and it's got the weird lines. And he does have this tattered part that they've painted on and it goes nowhere else. He has these little hash marks too, which is supposed to be comic book lines like he's beat up, like the suit's taken a pummeling. But it just it doesn't work. I would have rather have seen a Superman... Just tattered suits everywhere, right? With the blood and the boots and the tattered cape makes no sense. It's like I customized it, right? This is not from a professional company by any means. This is something I could have done at home. And that's why I just I can't recommend this, especially at full price. Now, they did paint the belt loops. That's good to see. That's something. Again, the S, the yellows. There are things here that make you go, yeah, that's... Superman, but there are just so many things where you're just like, yeah, this doesn't work in the totality of a Superman by which this box set is based off of. Even the hands. What is this hand for? <laughs> it looks like Doomsday broke his fingers, right? Which, okay, yeah, if you want to go that route. But in the context of the box set, what is going on, right? That's a perfect bizarro hand. That's fine. On this hand, you can hold something. Maybe you want to beat doomsday with a truck or a pipe so yeah that hand totally makes sense but again there are no fisted hands in this box and when fighting doomsday you kind of want to throw some punches here and there right so again everything aside all the problems from far away yeah that's superman but as a collector and a collector's eye that's as far away as you could possibly be at this point now i will tell you this Doomsday does fare a little bit better because Doomsday is a fun character. And really, no matter what you kind of do with him, make him into an action figure, put spikes and whatnot every which way, odds are he's going to turn out to look like a cool figure. And this does look like a cool figure, don't get me wrong. But again, in the context of Superman vs. Doomsday, this is far away from being that Doomsday. Now, for those of you wondering, it is a reuse, kind of, sort of with the arms especially of the Devastator, right? From Dark Knight's Metal. You can clearly see that with the arms and the hands. Those are the basic reused parts, right? It's here and there. But he also has the tattered parts of the Devastator, which they clearly did not paint on this Doomsday. So then again, as a collector, you go, well, man, that is chintzy. Put a little oomph in this box set, right? Because when you see it up close, and I didn't really notice it in the press photos until somebody else pointed it out, you really could have just painted that green, right? That would have been totally fine. It would have matched that he's broken out of that containment suit, and that would have been totally fine. But now it just looks like you cut a bunch of corners, and it looks terrible. You see it, and you go, ugh. But again, at the end of the day, a lot of people are going to look at this video and look at this figure and go, yeah, man, but who cares, right? Well, I care, right? Now, the head portrait, I think it would have fared a little bit better if it would have covered up the ponytail, right? Because what I think of is ears, like Usagi Yojimbo, right? Like he's got a little top knot to it. And that's all I can see at this point. Doomsday has what I call uh, sprigs of hair every which way, right? Now, I know, again, this is based off a newer type design where he has this hair, but the way it's designed in this figure makes it look like he has buddy ears. And they're tied together, and it's <laughs> basically a ponytail, right, in so many ways. Now, I do like the head portrait. I think he's menacing. I think it's painted well. I like the jaw. I like that you can move the jaw. That's a lot of fun. The eyes are cool. He doesn't have the the bone eyes, right? Where they the the sprigs that go around his eyes. That would have been cool, more ideal. But again, I think that losing the whole top knot to this and putting in little sprigs of hair would definitely do you better, other than the ponytail. The arms, and I look at it this way: if you design this new figure, why did you reuse the arms? The arms don't really work at all. Plus, you don't have any extra hands. 
Now, one ideal situation is that he does have a fisted hand and he has an open hand. So maybe you can grab Superman and then you can punch Superman. And that's more to say than an actual Superman figure can do back to Doomsday, right? So you get the basic articulation there. The torso, the shoulders, again, when I think of Doomsday, and I will ask you this, think of Doomsday, what is he missing here? Spikes. And then people say, well, he's got tons of spikes. Well, he doesn't have those iconic 90s spikes that Doomsday had. He's a little bit loose in the torso, especially on mine. Now, he's not fallen over by any means, but he's a little bit looser than I would appreciate for getting a brand new figure, right? So at least he'll move around, but yeah, it could have been a lot more solid. The arms, the head, the legs, everything from the waist down is solid, but that middle section, that moves around a whole heck of a lot than I'd really appreciate. I do like the shorts, the short shorts. That works for Doomsday. It's green, it's got a little bit of a design pattern to it. I like the belts, I like the little cuffs, right? Those are silver grayish painted, those are nice. The legs are good. He's got the bones sticking out. He's got craggy skin. That's what I think about with Doomsday. So again, from the waist down, he kind of looks almost perfect in terms of Doomsday. He's even got the little spikes and bones poking out of his knees. That's pretty cool. When you get down to the boots, however, they go a little bit chintzy again. Because on the boots, which make it look like he has giant Nikes on, right? <laughs> they put in... Maybe a little bit too much detail. Eh, simple might be better, but right here at the cuffs of the boot, they're green. What happened to that gray part? Doesn't he have gray parts that go along the tops of his boots? Because that's the design that it looks like. So again, he's missing paint. So for a $60 set, it really is missing a lot of paint. And when you look back at what NECA does, you see the difference right there because their sets are 60 bucks for all those accessories and paints. The back is fine. The wash is fine. Everything looks great in that sense on this particular version of Doomsday. But at the end of the day, it's really just, yeah, that's the bare minimum bones for what I would want out of a Doomsday figure. It's very much McFarland, right? It's kind of a couple designs all put together, which creates a new Doomsday, but then ultimately creates a Doomsday that no one really recognizes. Now, one thing that I think adds some value is that when you have flying characters like Captain Adam or this Superman, both of which do not get flying stands, well, hey, putting a flying stand in the box probably would have made for a better overall box set, right? You can have him floating and hovering and flying after Doomsday, but they just don't want to put these in for the flying characters and that definitely perplexes me because when you have doomsday and this superman with everything that comes in the box this is the best you're gonna get in terms of setting this up for photos a diorama having a, a really cool shelf right superman versus doomsday this is it. There's no fisted hands. There's no flying stand. You get no extra hands for doomsday. You got no cloth cape for superman. This is it. And really, how fun is this going to be? Now, when you do have said flying stand and you have those hands that the Superman actually comes with, you can take some fun photography of Superman just flying after Doomsday. And he totally did that in the comics from the 90s, right? Doomsday, if you, again, have said flying stand for Superman, can lay the old one, two right into Superman's gut and send him flying into an exploding gasoline truck, right? So, yeah, you can kind of sort of take some photos here and there, and displays and whatnot, but it's largely boring, right? Now, when you look at the very first Superman that McFarlane did for their Wave 1, I love that Superman, and I still love that Superman. It has its probs here and there, but it's infinitely better than the looks for this guy, I'll tell you that. Yeah, the S-Shield is way too big, but that's a great-looking head portrait, and I was wondering, does it fit? On this Superman, it does, but the flesh tones are not going to exactly match up. Plus, again, there's no fist, so you kind of have something going. But just to kind of show you how it matches up with this Doomsday, yeah, that looks so much better as, let's say, a Superman versus Doomsday. You're kind of minimizing the, wait, what's going on? Why is there so many elements here? And it's a lot of fun. Now, if you do want to properly lay the smack down on Doomsday, well, then you might want to go the NECA Toys route with their DC Comics figures, which is still one of the best Supermans in my collection. Even has the S on his 
cloth cape. And he really does scale well with this new Doomsday, right? And he has powers, and that is a big element. That's even something I talk about with Marvel Legends, from Spider-Man to X-Men. What's with not giving superheroes their powers? Superman has some of the coolest powers. You're telling me you can't put eye beams like this into a McFarlane toy Superman? Come on, why not? Look how good that looks. I'll even put the neck and head portrait on the McFarlane body. It works. Let's see some powers. Ice breath. Boom, whack, energy effects, anything in this box. And lastly, with a cloth cape with the S shield on it, because you can toss Superman around like a rag doll, and you have that iconic cape look from the comic books. Now, just to show you, with Mattel, with their Collect and Connect Doomsday, that came out roughly seven, eight years ago now. I really like that Doomsday, but he was a modern Doomsday. But he had all the correct bony pieces everywhere. He's a lot more Doomsday than this Doomsday, while both of them are really just bits and pieces of what I honestly think about is Doomsday. Now, in terms of the scale, right? Doomsday, I would say, is around the appropriate height. He might be a little bit too big, but again, it's a modern Doomsday. But when you look at Carapax or Calibac, we all know by now, McFarlane Toys looks at scale and goes, yep, let's just do whatever. Now with this Doomsday, you can definitely stand him with Booster Gold and Blue Beetle, but I would love a 90s Booster Gold, that's for sure. And he does go well with this more 90s Blue Beetle. Now lo and behold, like I said, we have seen this Superman body before. And here's a modern version of the Kryptonite Recovery Black Suit, right? From the old 90s comics. And he comes with fisted hands. Look at that. These fisted hands fit this Superman. So again, there's really no reason why this Superman should never have come with fisted hands. Because now you can properly punch Doomsday right in the kisser. You have the flight stand that allows him to fly to do it. And it looks good. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new Target Gold Label exclusive Superman vs. Doomsday. Again, take a step back, turn your brain off and go... Yeah, that's Superman versus Doomsday. But for us collectors, those that grew up, those that know these characters inside and out, it's a hodgepodge of a box set. No, I do not recommend this box set. If anything, get it on clearance because this is just not good enough. This is like, yeah, no, no thanks. Doomsday fares a lot better than Superman, but as a total box set with the fun to be had, there's little to be found at all. So you've heard my thoughts, and so now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I can't say that I want them to do yet another Doomsday. But we'll see what the future may bring. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.